Hey everyone, this is Andrew coming to you today with a second video about the branding project that I've been a part of over the last year. Uh, in the last video I talked about how we had been performing some research about the state of the Navigator's brand and how I was a part of the group that was uh, performing that research. And so I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about that, some of the things that we discovered and uh, some of the ways that we are using what we discovered to uh, help us communicate better moving forward. So uh, the research that we performed, we interviewed about 120 people, staff and ministry recipients and donors. Um, we had over 300, sorry, 3,500 uh, responses to some surveys that we uh, sent out. Uh, we uh, reviewed over 300 samples of uh, our, our present communication, brochures, websites, logos, uh, other things that were used to uh, communicate who the Navigators is and what it is we do. Uh, we also spoke with staff from other ministries. What do they know about us? How have they uh, perceived the Navigators over the years? We did all this to figure out uh, where are we right now? Uh, how close is it to what it is we are hoping people think of us? And how can we really uh, uh, zone in on just a few things uh, within our messaging that uh, stays consistent so that we can have a, uh, a really consistent brand message? Uh, so I'm going to put an image up on the screen here. It's called a word cloud. And this was developed uh, by uh, using the research that uh, we uh, conducted that these are words that came out uh, when we were uh, interviewing people, the larger the word, the more frequent the word was used. The, the colors don't matter, it's just uh, meant to be uh, a nice visual touch. So as you can see, discipleship being the big word, that's a, uh, that is what the navigators do. Discipleship uh, is, is what we're known for, and that's a good thing. We're very happy to know that. Uh, and then we have some uh, some different uh, adjectives in here, Bible-based. We look at the scriptures and and uh, and believe them and 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 uh, do what they say. Uh, intentional and relational. These are words that I think are are pretty uh, uh, are hallmarks of a navigator ministry. Relevant that the work that we do is relevant in people's lives. Uh, we're impactful. We're disciplined. Uh, patient is a word that's come out quite a bit. And uh, if you're wondering why that word to be used. Um, it's that we're a ministry that sticks with you for a long time, that it's not we put you through uh, a single Bible study and uh, send you on your merry way. We, we live life with you for the long haul, and we're willing to uh, uh, stick by you through thick and thin, and and, uh, and uh, it's not something that's common in a lot of ministries. Um, there's one word on there that's a little weird, uh, stickiness. Uh, no one actually said the word stickiness. That's kind of a catch-all term. Uh, it's a marketing word. Uh, I'll use it in the context of a website. Uh, a sticky website is one that you would return to over and over because you found uh, a lot of value there. There was reason for you to go back. And so that, that's what uh, a lot of people are saying in a lot of words about the Navigators, that uh, it was a ministry that they kept going back to. This was something that impacted them once, but that they kept going back to uh, because it continued to impact them. And so with all of those words, uh, we wanted to narrow it down uh, so that our messaging could revolve around just a few different attributes of the navigators. Rather than being about all these different things, all these different places, um, making sure that our communication hones in on just a few key things about the navigators. And so we chose four, and I'll put those on the screen now as well, uh, that the navigators are Bible-based, they are uh, relational, intentional, and transformational. And so what you're going to start to see in our communication is that uh, at least one and up to four of those attributes are going to appear in all of our different communication pieces, in the messages that we give, uh, in the way that we uh, speak about who we are as a ministry. And so uh, as you see my updates, as you see uh, updates from other staff or on our uh, ministry Facebook page and, and Instagram, uh, look for those attributes. See if you can spot them. See if, you're, if we're uh, living out what we're putting forward as, uh, as our new brand guide standards. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope that uh, you enjoyed seeing some of what uh, I've been up to with this branding project in my next video. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, how we have decided to 
clearly differentiate what the navigators mean when they say the word discipleship versus maybe what other people mean when they say it. Uh, until next time, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for all your continued support of my ministry with the navigators.